You know, I'd never let a silly little thing like total save game existence failure to get between me and a good time. So, here's what we're doing. I am declaring this my Kerbal career, the next generation, electric boogaloo, career harder, and additional subtitles. I'm going to pretend like all my investments went into a shrewd plan of shoeboxes and uh, the undersides of mattresses and other devious investment opportunities. And it's now two or three hundred years later. All my previous stuff has crashed, but I still have my capital from last time. So I'm going to start from there and going to be trying to do a lot more interesting things. I'm going to be using a lot of the point eighteen features. But not today, because today we are doing something very, very dull. And when I say dull, I of course mean something I have some inkling of how to actually do. So when I made the call out for new proposals for my brave new era of my Kerbal career thing, within a couple seconds I got a reply back from Warner Von Kerman saying that he wanted me to do an impactor on Ike. I guess it's to see how the crater forms and all that sort of thing. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I just make rockets. And very shortly very thereafter, Tiamo got in contact with me, said he wanted to get a manned lander on Ike and then on Duna in one mission. I think it's because he wants someone to go and test the relative softness of the ground. We've never had anyone be able to really compare how soft Ike is in comparison to Duna. I guess he wants to start a pillow business from space dust. Uh, not mine to decide, but oh well. Here's what we've got. This is a double whammy rocket. At the middle part here, this is Werner's probe. We can let this loose and do the impactor on Ike. This part here is the lander that lands. What do you know? Let's launch. Alright, I've got the phase angle and this rocket's looking kind of derpy. So let's launch before it falls over. Throttling back up, SAS back on, and please launch. Yes, launch. Although a bit uneven, that's... Uh, don't look at the unevenness, it'll go away in time by on its own, I assure you. And staging. That's one. We don't seem to exploit it too much now, so let's begin our pitch over maneuver. Is that the right way? Yeah, it is. Good. Wait, no, that's 45. Yikes! What's going on? I've been spinning without knowing it. There we go. That's a 90. That's kind of 90. Good enough. Mm, that's probably good enough. Yeah, circular is circular. Now comes the part where you fiddle around for forever trying to get a encounter with Duna. Luckily, you get to skip all that. And it's time to burn. Let's go. Throttled all the way up. Oh, SAS, gotta turn that back on. And let's see if we can get that aim a bit tighter. Yeah, that's better. This burn's going pretty quickly, actually. I may have built too much rocket here. Better than not enough, but still. Let's see what that did for us. Oh, let's remove the... Wait, did we remove that? Dang it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these uh, maneuver nodes, they're really nice and all, but they're really fiddly to work with. Oh, f Okay, quick thing. I was just doing some tuning up, so I had turned off fraps, but as soon as I detached the, uh, the, uh, that stage there, the big one, uh, SAS decided that it was time to try and kill me. So it sent me into this spiral, which, uh, scared me to death. It rammed my capsule up against that stage really hard. It, uh, 
it spun fast enough to shatter off all my solar panels here, but I should have enough power. Why is that not generating power? I don't know. Uh, this is a good time to quick save, I think. But my solar panels are all in a disarray here, but I should be fine. We'll see. Oh, that's nice. It appears to have only shattered out half my solar panels. We'll be fine. And we are coming up on our Duna encounter, so let's bring the time warp down. Not quite yet. Bring it back up. Bring it down. There we are. Now, how are we going to do this? Let's see. Duna's there. Ike's there. When we're here, let's do some inner radial burns like this. Maybe that'll help. This might be the most complex series of maneuver nodes I've ever set before in my life. Here's our big, our big push. This brings us radially inwards towards Zuna, so we get a pretty low periapsis. Then, when we're at that periapsis, we do a retrograde burn to kill off all the velocity. Because when you bring the radial in like that, you're not actually going any slower, you're just getting closer. But since you are closer, you can use the Oberth effect to slow down much more effectively. Once we are slow, slowed it down like that, we do a, we have a nice little transfer over to Ike here. That brings us whoop over to here, caught into Ike. Then we do a retrograde burn, and that brings us into a nice clean Ikean orbit. Let's see if we can't make this work. How far are we from the first bit? Node in three hours. Well, I'm gonna make a sandwich was not paying attention. The node was eight hours ago. Hey, it was a big sandwich. So let's, uh, let's try and recover this. Burning. What do we got? How far did we move in those eight hours? Hmm, not too far actually. This might be doable. The whole plan's out the window, of course, but we can make a new one. We always do. Come back here, header. Okay, there's our that. Um, I have no idea what's going on now. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's that's bad. Uh, how fast are we going relative to Duna? Uh, okay, not bad. How much delta v do we have? No, not that view. Uh, this view. Delta v. Oh yeah, we got loads of delta v. Let's fix this. Um, how are we gonna do this? A big honking retrograde burn, I think. Like one of these. Burn. And go. Okay, so I've done what is effectively a U-turn in space. Still have about half the delta V left in those in those tanks. How much have I got in those? Yeah, a bit le little less than half. Good enough. Now let's see if we can figure out another encounter system, shall we? Okay, I'm not actually entirely sure what sort of encounter I've created here, but I'm going to... Do it and see what I get. And this time, I promise I'm not going to sleep through the encounter. So this turns out to be one of those really wobbly encounters that appears to be a collision course with Ike. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, let's get in a bit closer and see what we got. Yep, this is definitely a collision course. Let's fix that. Quick adjustment later, and we're in the clear for now. Now let's see what else we got to do. Okay, we got to bring into uh, some sort of stable orbit around Ike. I think I'm going to do that high up thing like I did with the uh, with the moon base that fell over, and uh, see where we are from there. Oh yeah, we got to also launch that impactor probe. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. This might be stupid, but how well? Go big or go home, and all that. So we are on this collision course with Ike to. Uh, detach this probe here like this and switch to it and it's slowly losing power but that's all right because it won't have time to fully decharge it's gonna end its life fairly dramatically fairly shortly but one other thing let's also get this into 
where it needs to be. Because I don't want to crash this just yet. Or ever, really. So let's flip around. Like so. And hold that. And begin to burn. Oh, don't bump. Okay, good. We missed that bit of debris. That would have been silly. Okay, there we are. That's a nice, safe periapsis. Yeah, well, safe in the grand scheme of things. So let's fast forward to when that probe impacts on the surface of Ike. Hey, you'll never believe this. This is hilarious. Uh, you know that decoupler that we used to knock this probe off? Yeah, apparently that had enough force to knock this probe into an entirely different orbit that'll never hit anything, it's gonna, and it's completely useless. That's... That, well, that's money down, down, down the drain, that is. We came all this way to try and do two things at once. Failed at one. Let's see if we can't succeed at the other. Let's try and land on Ike. Almost landed. Almost landed. Just about down a bit. Come on. Land. Yes. Apparently I land a lot better when I'm not trying to talk to people. So you only got caught in on the last few seconds of that. Sorry. But, okay, let's see what we got to do here. First we got to turn off the RCS. Good, we don't fall over from that. Um, <coughs> apparently I installed uh, two ladders, just in case. Hmm. A bit of extra expense, but oh well. Let's see. Is that going to... Yeah, that's going to do great. Now let's get out. EVA Bob, please. And get down. Ooh. Bonk. Oop. And let's see, how soft is this? Yeah, this... Eh. I'd put it about at a... 8 out of 10 in terms of softness. Yeah. It gets bonus points for bounciness, but we don't want to jump on a pillow anyways. So, eh, we'll see. Get back in, please. Yes, I know it's fun to jump around on low-gravity worlds, but it's time to get over to Duna. And board. How are we going to do this? Eh, we're in the wrong place for all of this. Oh well, let's just burn up and see where that takes us. Well, I suppose it'll take us up, but besides that... Alright, does that look like a good landing spot to everyone? Yes? Well then, alright. Let's fast forward till we get to it. And coming in now... Let's bring the vessel wording speed down. And we should be hitting the atmosphere any moment now. Oh, there it is. And retract, retract, retract. Uh, I, I need to retract the solar panels real quick now. I don't know why, because I only really need them, but I don't like breaking solar panels like that. Okay. Yeah, we're in atmosphere now. We should begin slowing down pretty soon. Let's begin getting in our pointy direction, and let's do a bit of this, because we have a lot of fuel and not much need for it. I really do like la landing on plants with atmospheres like this. They slow you down by themselves. They should, at least. Please do slow me down. Shoot. Well... At the end of the day, we know how soft Ike is. What more do you want? <sighs> Fine, I blew the contracts. We'll eat the losses and move on with life.